Yeah, hello everyone. Um, thank you for being here this afternoon. I hope everything is fine and you can, can hear me clearly. Um, yeah, thank you uh, to the Think Nature group for inviting me to this uh, webinar. Um, what I would like to present to you today is some ideas on the multiple benefits of nature-based solutions. And um, these ideas are based on work we have done with the um, Eclipse project, uh, where I could be part of an um, expert working group on nature-based solutions to promote climate resilience in urban areas. And this work is also um, based on a nice uh, project uh, at Humboldt University. So uh, first of all, I would like to give you some, some background on why it's important to to work with nature-based solutions and to, to basically address them. So nature-based solution, as it was explained by the presenters uh, before, shall address major societal challenges. And they are, of course, basically linked to global changes such as urbanization and climate change. And uh, as uh, Nicolas um, already mentioned, um, urbanization is taking place nowadays everywhere. And uh, interestingly, so far only 3% of the global land area is projected to be urban, but we have now like 55% of the population living in urban areas. And uh, as the United Nations very recently released with new data, um, if this kind of trend continues, then we will have like 38% of uh, urban population by 2015. And so urbanization is of course linked with a number of, of challenges uh, to the society, like um, environmental pollution, degradation of, of ecosystems, air pollution, noise, all threats um, basically to, to people and to, to human health and, and well-being. Another global change which is very much related to the resulting societal challenges is, is climate change. So climate change um, yeah, is basically impacting urban areas as well. So my focus is here a bit more on urban areas as you may recognize already. So climate change is impacting on urban areas um, because of floods, of droughts, of water scarcity. So there are a number of challenges coming from urbanization and climate change to, to cities, to urban areas. But um, cities, they do also provide very great opportunities. And one of them are the generation of innovation. And I think nature-based solution can really account as, as innovation as well because nature-based solution can be seen as sustainable solution that effectively use ecosystem services to address this kind of societal challenges those that I mentioned and that were already presented before in the other presentations. So just briefly, uh, nature-based solutions basically use nature, they use urban environments, nature-based environments to provide ecosystem services and ecosystem services as you certainly know are the benefits nature pro uh, provides to people and this can be different parts like uh, air quality improvement through nature or noise attenuation it can also be like the provision of space for recreation or to improve aesthetics in in certain areas so um, for instance a street line a tree can can be can provide habitats for, um, for different kinds of species, but it does also provide other benefits like um, a cooling function or the noise attenuation, as it's presented here. Um, the interesting question is now also related to this talk here, what are the multiple benefits arising from nature-based solutions and why are those important for us? So in here, I would very much like to make the link to health and well-being in the case of, of cities. Um, and I would like to share with you some, some idea or some, some example. Uh, in cities, is it, it's done that there are repurposing of urban land, of, uh, of brownfield land into nice parks. So park installations on former industrial sites, basically. So, and these kind of parks are basically implemented um, to mitigate air pollution or, or heat. But they have, they have, of course, other benefits, like they simply provide spaces for doing sports, for relaxation, so simply creating the atmosphere to provide these kind of services, to improve social connectedness, 
but also to create spaces for environmental learning, which is illustrated also here in, this, in these figures. Um, finally, uh, for this very brief introduction, I would like to share with you this illustration here from my lovely colleagues Thomas Elkris and Eric Gomez, which nicely shows that an element of urban nature, like an urban tree, can provide a number of, of benefits to the people. So the implementation of a, of a tree as a nature-based solution to, let's say, air pollution, can at the same time have multiple benefits, like for providing space, for doing sports, for reducing stress, and other some examples as you you can see here in this in the slide. Okay, um, just briefly, these kind of ideas, these kinds of kind of um, challenges, were nicely summarized and highlighted in the Eclipse um, Expert Working Group report, which has been created um, last year. And I was so lucky to be part of this nice group. And um, in this um, six months um, working group, we um, developed a review where we tried to summarize major progress in, in work on nature-based solution to address um, several challenge areas. And these challenge areas are very much linked to the ones also mentioned before in the other presentations. And as you can see here on the bottom of this, of this slide, there are a number of challenge areas like air quality or green space management or coastal resilience. And the idea behind, behind this, um, this framework or this, let's say this figure here, is that when a nature-based solution is implemented for a certain challenge area, let's say for air quality improvement, then it has certainly some effects to, to other dimensions, to other um, arenas, let's say to the to ecosystem, to biodiversity, but also to socioeconomic and sociocultural systems. So, and this uh, is mentioned here in this kind of uh, nice figure which should also show that um, we could manage in this, uh, um, in this report to illustrate nice examples with indicators and methods how to, how to measure um, nature-based solution implementations and their, their benefits basically, and to use it then uh, further. Um, this figure is short, just illustrate in this report that what kind of benefits or multi-benefits benefits can can happen when a nature-based solution is implemented. So when there is some implementation that should reduce a flood peak, for instance, can certainly have, let's say it's through an, a park or an, um, development of, of a flood plain, can certainly have also some benefits in terms of um, increase of green space or share of green space or, or use for recreational benefits. So I really uh, would like to, to urge you and ask you if you, uh, to, to use the report um, if you want to have more details on this, because uh, I think there are very nice examples used to illustrate here these, these ideas. So, and finally, my, my last slides, I would like to, to share with you some idea or some results, some very recent results of a nice project we've done recently last year during the heat period in the city of Leipzig, my, my hometown in uh, Germany. And here what we've done, we um, we try to, uh, to identify the ecosystem services provided by a regenerated park, uh, urban brownfield, which is now um, a nice park in the, in the inner city of the area. And uh, we measure the cooling function here. So the, uh, the mitigation of heat through, through the parks. And as you may see on the right side of the slide, the parks, they very nicely provide a cooling function in, term, in, in times of extreme heat. But at the same time, and now it comes to the, the multi-benefits of this park, um, they also provide um, benefits for health and well-being. So at this time of heat, we also ask the visitors and the people there at the space, at the park, what particular benefits do you experience here in, in this park? And it was very interesting to see that more, more than half of the, um, the people asked, they were answering and saying, yeah, we are feeling relaxed when we are here in this park, even when it's very, very hot. So here you just uh, can see the, the multiple benefits of this installation. Um, finally, I would like to come up with some, some conclusion. I think we as, we as researchers, of course, we will continue to explore the multiple benefits of nature-based solution. And um, as we've done this in my group already, we will continue to 
to trying to identify particularly the benefits for health and well-being. I think that, um, that there is already a very a belt of knowledge on the effectiveness of nature-based solutions, addressing challenges from climate change and urbanization. And those knowledge is now um, summarized and nicely pre presented uh, uh, through Sync Nature and through the, the other platforms. And I think now we can really go for implementation of nature-based solutions, for replication and for upscaling. And as uh, Nicolas already mentioned, I think it's most important to, to address this multitude of opportunities from nature-based solution in participation processes, right? With stakeholders in co-creation processes. And this is something which has some nice governance idea behind and might be explored then later in, in other uh, Think Nature webinars. I would like to highlight some reading. This was uh, referred to at the beginning already so if you are interested just check check these publications out if you like and um, i thank you very much for your attention for listening and as the others please don't hesitate to contact me or contact the group if you want to have some more information on this thank you very much